All right, yeah, uh, I'm gonna make a video here real quick. Because uh, about something with this grinder, because if I'm having problems with it, other people might. So this might help someone out. Um, the problem that I'm having is uh, I can't get the little retaining nut off off the uh, the thread thing here. Um, it's bending my wrench. Uh, that's how much force you got to put on it. But I found a way um, to get them off. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to weld something like this um, onto here. Um, I mean, you could just do the socket, I guess, too, but I tried the nut and then I was like, wait, I need to get something else on there. So I put the socket on so it would fit in the, uh, the impact gun. Uh, if you have a socket that will fit the, the nut, I mean, you don't even need to weld the socket on there, but anyway, so this is just the socket that I sacrificed. Um, it's probably never going to be used for anything else again. But you just set that on there like that. It doesn't really matter if it's dead center. Um, as long as you get it close, uh, weld it on there. I mean, you can see I already welded this a few times. Uh, weld it on there. I'm going to use this Furnius with a 332nd 6011. Uh, just weld it on there and then stick your impact in there. Spin it off. Uh, you're going to have to press the little button down here. So if your impact's too strong, it might rip the gear out of your, your little holder thing there, but I put mine on the lowest setting. Um, it seems to, seems to work. I don't know why this thing keeps getting stuck, but that's what I got to do.
All right, so you saw that I got. Uh, normally the socket stays on. I don't know why it came off that time. But you really don't have to get the best tacks in there. Just you know, little ones like that. Um, you don't want too many, too many welds on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up now. But that's how you get uh, stuck cutting wheels off of your grinder. Uh, hope that helps someone.